Have you ever wondered about the uniqueness of Pluto's atmosphere? In the vast expanse of our solar system, Pluto stands out as the only known dwarf planet to have an atmosphere. Yes, you heard it right. This tiny celestial body, located at the farthest reaches of our solar system, envelops itself with a thin, ethereal layer of gases. But before you start imagining yourself taking a leisurely stroll on Pluto, let's clear up a few things. This exotic atmosphere is not at all like the one that nurtures life on our home planet. It's incredibly thin, almost a million times less dense than Earth's atmosphere. And while our air is a life-giving cocktail of nitrogen, oxygen, and a smidgen of other gases, Pluto's atmosphere is a noxious brew of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Breathe that in, and you'd be in for a very bad time indeed. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. This isn't your run-of-the-mill, steady-state atmosphere. Oh no, Pluto's atmosphere is a dynamic, ever-changing spectacle. It dances to the rhythm of Pluto's journey around the Sun. When Pluto draws closer to the Sun during its perihelion, the atmosphere expands into a gaseous state, but as it moves away, reaching its aphelion, the gases freeze and fall like snow, blanketing the dwarf planet in a frosty layer. Think about that for a moment. An atmosphere that freezes and falls as snow. It's something straight out of a science fiction novel, isn't it? Yet it's happening right here in our own cosmic backyard. It's a testament to the fascinating diversity and complexity of our solar system and a reminder of how much we still have to learn about these distant icy worlds. So what makes Pluto's atmosphere so unique? Let's delve a little deeper. Pluto's atmosphere dances between two states, gas and ice, but why does it do so? Well, let's take a journey with Pluto around the Sun. Pluto's orbit is not like ours, a near-perfect circle, but more like a stretched-out ellipse, carrying it much closer to the Sun at times and much farther away at others. These points are known as perihelion and aphelion, respectively. When Pluto reaches its perihelion, the point at which it's closest to the Sun, something fascinating happens. The Sun's heat, although weak by the time it reaches this distant dwarf planet, is enough to sublimate the ices on Pluto's surface. This means that the ice turns directly into gas without passing through a liquid phase. This gas forms a thin, tenuous atmosphere around Pluto. Now, the composition of this atmosphere is primarily nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. But don't get any ideas about taking off your helmet for a breath of fresh air. This cocktail of gases would be toxic to us humans. As Pluto continues its journey, it eventually reaches its aphelion, the point at which it's farthest from the Sun. Here, the temperatures plunge to unimaginably cold levels, causing the gaseous atmosphere to freeze and fall back to the surface like snow. The atmosphere, once a veil of gas, now blankets the planet in a fresh layer of ice. This cycle repeats itself every time Pluto completes an orbit around the Sun, which takes a staggering 248 Earth years. So, if you were to stand on the surface of Pluto, you'd witness this mesmerizing dance of gas and ice just once in over two centuries. And there you have it. Pluto, the distant dwarf planet, puts on a show unlike any other in our solar system, dancing between states of gas and ice as it journeys around the Sun. This incredible dance of gas and ice is a spectacle unique to Pluto. So, we've learned quite a bit about Pluto's atmosphere. Let's summarize what we know. Pluto, that distant icy orb that lies at the outer edge of our solar system, holds a unique distinction. It is the only known dwarf planet that breathes, so to speak, with an atmosphere. Yes, that's right. This icy dwarf has an atmosphere, a feature that sets it apart from its other dwarf siblings. But don't get any ideas about packing your bags for a Pluto vacation just yet. This atmosphere is incredibly thin, almost like a wisp of smoke in comparison to the dense air we're accustomed to here on Earth. Moreover, it's not the kind of air we could breathe. It's composed of nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. A toxic cocktail for humans, so... While it may be fascinating, it's certainly not hospitable, but there's more to this story. Pluto's atmosphere doesn't just sit there, static and unchanging. No, it dances. It dances with the sun in a mesmerizing cosmic ballet. When Pluto swings closer to the sun, reaching its perihelion, its atmosphere transforms into gas. It's a bit like watching a frozen world come to life with its icy surface sublimating into a gaseous state, 
Then, as Pluto moves away from the Sun, reaching its aphelion, its atmosphere freezes and falls like snow. Imagine that, a world where the sky itself descends to the ground in a flurry of icy particles. It's a spectacle that would be both beautiful and eerie to behold. The dance of Pluto's atmosphere, oscillating between gas and ice, is truly a testament to the dynamism and diversity of our solar system. It reminds us that even in the cold, distant reaches of space, there is movement, there is change, and there is life, albeit not as we know it. That's the fascinating world of Pluto's atmosphere, a dance of gas and ice, a spectacle unlike any other in our solar system. While we've learned so much about Pluto, there's still so much we don't know. Despite the leaps and bounds made in space exploration, Pluto holds on to its secrets tightly, especially about its thin, toxic atmosphere that dances between gas and ice. What causes this dramatic transition? What triggers the atmospheric snowfall when Pluto moves away from the Sun? Then there's the question of Pluto's geological activity. How does a world so far from the Sun, so small and so cold, still have the energy to power geological processes? And what about its moons? What forces shape them and how do they interact with Pluto? These mysteries serve as reminders of how complex our universe is. They encourage us to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, to keep asking questions and seeking answers. Remember, the mysteries of the universe are out there waiting for us to uncover them. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.